I think we're the best basketball city in the world. Anytime you're on the basketball floor, all your problems will go away. I think that's where it is. So many people in Chicago love the game of basketball. When you get in between those lines, you know, nothing else matters, whether it's violence or crime or whatever, it's all about the game. This was a place where you really wouldn't want to be anywhere but school and then to the park. You know, you just kind of see things and you fall in love with it. I think that uh, you, you see this ball and you, you think of it as your dream, as your vehicle to get out of your current situation. The misconception is, is like the only way you can make it out is if you can hoop, sing, or rap. You don't have to make it to the NBA in order to be a professional. You can be an attorney, you can be doctors. There's so many other ways to change your circumstances and then that's how we're gonna improve our community. For us going to law school, like that's us being professionals in our field. So we taking that same aggressive attitude that we developed out here on these courts and you just see a transition into a different avenue of life. We knew like the basketball could take you far, but use the basketball, don't let the ball use you. Like we play professionally in Europe as well. And like now for us, it's like our careers are over, but the game gave so much to us that we want to give back. We founded a 501c3 organization called the Atypical Sports and Learning Foundation. And that's our team name in the tournament. We teach youth various sports as a means to further academic achievement. I think for Red Bull, like we just coming in, it's our third year now in a row. I just think it's a dope community event. I don't have to be corporate America Jelani. I don't have to be Ivy League Jelani. I don't have to be law school Jelani, because that's still my safe haven. You know, I do that every year, come back home and you know, see guys compete. The you know, camera's going to be out, so it's a chance for them to, to get you know, kind of their name out there. But the team from Chicago has won the past two years, so I'll go. And you know, I know a lot of these guys, but I play ball with them throughout you know, my years here in Chicago. What you see now is very different. At one point, it was known as the worst projects in America, the Brainy Green Projects. Sewell Park, I think, has maintained that. It's still here. And this is probably the last piece left of, like, Cabrini Green. This is where I came from, you know, and it wasn't a, a sense of, I need to get out to the neighborhood, you know, because X, Y, and Z. It was more so, I want to better myself. From that standpoint, I wanted to get out. I rub Inglewood to the day I die. I rub Chicago to the day I die. I had a lot of memories there, good and bad, but that's where I'm from.